Welcome back to my YouTube channel, my sweeties. If it is your first time seeing this face, my name is Inke M, and I really hope that you stay, you like, you subscribe, you share all of that wonderful, wonderful stuff. And if you're back and you're better, I love that for us. Now, didn't I tell y'all in my pre pre didn't I tell y'all in my previous video that I'm gonna try uploading more now that I'm kind of done with school and stuff? So yeah, in today's video, this is really a video. Um, about hope but also just to kind of let you guys in to kind of my experience so in today's video i will be discussing my journey into medical school um so if this is something that interests you or you just like looking at this face please do stay tuned um let's get right into it so i've definitely touched on this in my get to know me tag up in the cards i don't know which side they are um where i spoke about the fact that i you know someone asked me if i always knew that i wanted to do medicine and the answer was yes and no so i've known that i probably would like to study medicine when i was around grade six so i remember in grade six we did a project and i had researched a lady who was the first black neurosurgeon and i just was so fascinated by that whole story and that inspired kind of my love for maybe wanting to study medicine but i was 12 what do i know about medicine so obviously as i was growing older then i started seeing a lot of people in my family get sick going into the hospital and not making it out and it just kind of frustrated me right like what happened what causes as much as yes there's a greater you know purpose and you know plan in life but i just kind of it made me angry at doctors i'm not gonna lie and i told myself that i want to be a doctor with a change but obviously that's easy to say bro um so obviously i got into high school and i started going through high school and i was i started being more and more disconnected obviously i read only later when i was diagnosed that i realized what was wrong while i was in high school but yeah in my grade 11 and 12 years i performed well guys like i performed okay like i came out of high school with academic honors but i wasn't those kids getting like nine distinctions eight distinctions seven distinctions like i was doing well but i wasn't hitting those things all the time right like i had ups and downs sometimes i'd have really good terms sometimes i'd have bad terms right so when i got to grade 11 i had told myself that i actually don't think i want to do medicine because i had seen my marks and i knew how competitive it was out there like i knew that the kids getting into medicine are those kids doing like three extra subjects and i just didn't think that i was worthy of applying for medicine right so i told myself no I'll, I'll do something in geography because I really love geography or I'll do something like dentistry because at the end of the day I did think I loved like healthcare, I loved biology um, so yeah when it came time now in matric to apply I was like you know what I'm just gonna apply for medicine but I'm also gonna keep my options open so if you looked at like what I applied for I definitely applied for different things guys like it was like medicine, uh, geoinformatics, uh, like I literally i gave myself options in terms of what i wanted to study right um so that you know just to keep my options open in case like i don't get into medicine but and like okay obviously then the acceptances were coming in they're coming in and i'm getting accepted to all these things but i'm not getting um, accepted into medicine right i'm panicking but obviously you know they don't answer as quickly for medicine right then guys one morning i remember even i was it a morning i don't remember the day exactly but i was checking my emails and i saw an email from birds saying congratulations da, 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 you have got like provisional acceptance into medicine guys i was so like ecstatic i was so so happy and for me that feeling is when i knew that no man i think this is what i want to do you know what i mean like why am i so excited compared to all these other things that i've applied for you know what i mean so i get the acceptance now the thing is that the acceptance i remember the letter said that you must pay about i think it was 3k 
to secure a spot now i don't know you guys don't know this but like i come from a single parent household my mom's a single parent of two kids she can't just cough up 3k in two days out of nowhere bro you know what i mean so i what i did is that i sent an email saying i accept their um offer i take their offer and yeah guys <laughs> a few weeks later i'm not okay a few weeks later or probably like a month later I remember I was on the phone with someone at the time and I saw the email come in that my offer had been retracted. Guys, I sobbed. Do you understand? To cry. Like, I didn't just like, <laughs> like I sobbed. And I'm not like a sobber. I'm a tears fall, roll down my face type of cryer, guys. I cried like someone had passed away. Like I was genuinely not okay. Like why did they take back their offer? You know what I mean? Like I was so upset um but i was like it's okay i think this was around october november october it was even before we wrote finals i was like all right finals we'll see if i get acceptances into medicine in my other in the other universities but at this time i was realizing that i wanted to go to wits like i don't want to go to up because everyone from my school went to up i don't want to go to uct because i don't want to be so far from my mom um so it was like and those are the universities i literally applied to three universities but up and uct please do not do that i say that in my other videos please do not do that keep your options open i bet so um when jalo i write finals we're waiting obviously it's jan now they're quiet you know they're quiet bro and then um we get our marks our final result and uct doesn't take me up doesn't take me at this point i am shattered you know but they've taken me for everything else like literally guys everything else that i've, I've applied for they've taken me so i can go to university but now i'm like i don't want to study these things like i genuinely feel like i want to study medicine like this is when i realized like this i say like a lot but this is when i realized i want to study medicine i do not want to study anything else um so then around this time i tell myself look i'm gonna go upgrade my marks even though i didn't even know like how, like you know my marks are like good it's like if i upgrade them it's only by so much but it's like i'm gonna go upgrade my marks and that's that on that i'm gonna take a gap here and that's when i knew in my heart like this is what i want to do so i remember the one day man i was sitting it was a sunday even i was sitting i was like mom i told my mom like look dude la 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 bro <laughs> why don't we just go to it and see what we can do because at the end of the day they did give me the offer like the offer was there and they retracted it or they yeah they retracted their offer saying that i didn't accept their offer and i definitely accepted it it's just that now i'm thinking maybe they didn't see my email saying that i'm taking the offer and stuff like that so my mom was like okay it's fine i'm gonna take the day off tomorrow we'll go to it i'm see you really it's my minglela city vits i am nervous i'm shaking i don't know i am praying my mom and i will pray right um so as soon as we get to this guys there's so many people there who have similar problems as me you know their offers are being uh retracted or they're not they don't have space like it's time to go to varsity now everyone wants to go to varsity everyone's trying to get into a university you know what i mean um so we sit there for a while guys it was packed senate house if you go to this senate house was packed my boy cues on cues on cues um and so yeah we go to senate house we i'm talking to people obviously in the line okay my mom's definitely the social one this girl's like yeah um they didn't accept me and i got like eight distinctions i was like listen i am effed i am effed there's no way <laughs> there's no freaking way that i'm gonna make it but my mom was like nah bro let's try the offer's there you have the email with the offer that you are being offered a spot but to, that you are being offered a spot at Fritz university so we get there i get there show the guy i'm like this is my grade 11 results i got accepted with my grade 11 results this is my acceptance letter um or my offer my offer letter um this is me responding to the offer letter and then this is me like these are my final marks and so my final marks in matric were like not so bad even but compared to my grade 11 marks they were good you know which that's what they uh, um accepted me with or that's what they gave me the provisional offer with my grade 11 marks the guy says oh my babes 
we have a lot of cases like this today um i can't guarantee you anything i can't guarantee you anything and medicine is definitely full that's one thing i can tell you medicine eat toilet babe eat toilet um so i'm i'm wanting to cry i'm not okay but in my heart i'm like it's fine i'm just gonna take a gap here i'm going to um upgrade my mouth i'm gonna study medicine next year it's fine no problem my mom's like nah but the mistake is on your guys's part but then the guy was like but bro you didn't pay the three thousand you didn't secure your spots other kids secured their spots though and i'm like oh God. so now i'm not gonna get into medicine because money money talks okay i bet the guy was like you know what um apparently i think they were having a meeting at med school um he's gonna send through all of my stuff and he will let me know i my mom and i leave i remember we went to cresta just to go eat i couldn't even eat like you know i'm stressed i'm feeling nice guys the stress was stressing like i was not okay because at the end of the day i really wanted it you know what i mean so we stayed guys literally they only called us probably like after two hours so two hours just chilling not knowing what's happening um we go to this lady the lady who was actually like doing the acceptances and stuff and she was like bro the mistake was on my part i genuinely did not see your email where you accepted the offer but because you didn't pay that three thousand i can't guarantee you anything but what i'm going to do is that i'm going to send you over to med school because right now they're having talks about putting in a few extra people into the degree and we'll see what happens i see a very ships med school now we're in park time guys i'm shaking again i get to med school there are tons of kids trying to fight for spots like tons of kids you know what i mean and i at this point it's getting late it's starting to rain it's about three four o'clock in the afternoon i've been at wit since like nine o'clock eight o'clock in the morning uh but we're there the lady who sent us to med school sent an email like oh this child it's definitely my mistake um she sent an acceptance like she uh, she accepted the offer but i just didn't see it i really we get to med school now we're dealing with the big the big dogs the big dogs um my mom and the, my mom and i were just praying the whole time we're like god you know if if it is your will let it be done if it is not we will accept that but we can't go down without a fight this i guess fight for what you want but i'll say that at the in the end right so Vela were at me at school um we're chilling we're not chilling though but we're standing in the queues we're trying to you know spend your give the guys document everything né? finally it's like five six o'clock it's quiet now people have left like there's no one there but we're still waiting because no one has said anything to us this lady calls us into her office she's like look uh the medical school council or whatever the board the board of examiners have decided to take an extra 10 students and your name made it onto the list of those 10 students so you have been accepted to study medicine and words oh my gosh guys i'm literally getting chills just saying that because i remember that day i just wanted to cry my when i wanted to cry like i was so happy because one thing about god guys he works in the most mysterious ways like for me this is my testimony like if something is for you it's for you like they didn't care that and i remember the guy right in front of me had done who was trying to get into dentistry he had done extremely well the only thing was that his english mark went went down for like one percent they didn't give him a spot and i was like i'm i'm done they're not gonna take how are they gonna take me me you know what i mean so yeah the lady was like please please i'm gonna need i they put you in you're the last 10 people they've put you in and i need you to work extremely hard and i just felt so blessed and i think it's the one moment in med school that i always go back to um when i'm struggling like god wouldn't have put me in this place if i wasn't deserving like there's so many times guys where you feel like i'm not in the right place or you're surrounded by people who you feel like not nah, but these people are smarter than me or they're more hardworking than me like i know i'm smart child <laughs> but you feel like these people are more hardworking they want it more um but then you think back to such things and you're like, I always feel like God wouldn't put me in this situation with everything that happened if he didn't feel that I belong in this space. Um, so I guess the message that I want to say is, firstly, don't let your marks um, make you feel like you don't deserve to do medicine, guys. Medicine is about passion. It's about really enjoying the content and wanting to do 
like wanting to help and sometimes you won't help we won't be able to help but it's really about enjoying the content learning about the content but also you know wanting to be part of a team that could eventually or, pot or potentially help someone right so never let your marks discourage you number one number two fight for what you want in life guys if something is yours it's yours it doesn't matter what anyone tells you if something is yours it is yours there's no one that can take it away from you if god has blessed it and put it in your life put it in your path there is no one that can take it away from you and thirdly if you are in med school always remember these things always remember that you were chosen out of however many applicants to be in that position cherish it and and enjoy it you know love it but also make sure to take care of yourself but these are things i've said in like my tips for medical school again i'll put that up in the cards in my previous videos but y'all yeah, guys thank you so much for watching this video i really do hope that you like share comment and subscribe tell me down below if there are any struggles that you're having you know any doubts you're having because i have been getting a lot of message of people who are just having doubts please do not doubt if it is in your heart then there is a potential for it to come to life you know what i mean like i always say god doesn't put something in your heart if he won't give you the motivation to see it through right um and the strength to see it through so yes thank you so much for watching you guys we are on the road to 3k subscribers <laughs> 3k subscribers oh not 3k subscribers let's do that and i love you guys so much bye <laughs> Put up, put up, put up, put up.